In order to have the system automatically calculate the child seat fees, we will need to first set up a multiplier field for that fee to go into on the reservation. To begin, we'll click on My Office. Then we'll select the Rate Management tab. And under System Rate Manager, we'll then go to the Multiplier tab. Most companies will set up the rate group as MISC fee. However, if you're not sure which rate group to select, please call our support so they can assist you. The rate groups affect how your gratuity and taxes will calculate off the line item you're setting up. So if you select the wrong rate group, your calculations could be off on your reservation. Once we've selected the proper rate group, we will then label it child seat fee and add the default cost here. Next, we will have to set this field to zero. That way my system isn't automatically adding one child seat to every reservation and calculating it. Next, we'll click the save button. Now that our field is added to the system, we'll go to the company settings tab and then to the company preferences button. Next, we'll go into the reservations button and add this rate field to the option that says auto populate number of child seats in the multiplier rate. Next, we'll select all the services that we need this to calculate on when a child seat is selected online or in our back office system. If there is a service type that you don't charge extra seats for, be sure to leave that service type unchecked. Next, we will save our changes. And there you have it. We've now set up a field for the child seats to be calculated on, and we've told the system when to calculate this child seat 